Hello, and welcome back to my channel, this is Abby with Abby Reviews. Um, as we prepare to go into uh, Resurrection Week, I thought this bunny ear situation would be appropriate for the petty mic situation that we're about to have. And so, let's let's do a little housekeeping. This is going to be my review and recap. We'll put a ring on it. Season 3, Episode 3. Um, I still hate the show. I still hate everything about the show. I do not like any of the people on the show. Except Dr. Nicole. Um, she's the only one I like. Two, um, I'm only doing this for the intro. I won't subject y'all to this voice the whole time. You know, because that just seems rude. Um, three, um, this will be a review slash mukbang slash get ready with me. Um, because I have the panels for uh, Put a Ring on It and, and Ready to Love to do in like an hour and 45 minutes. So we're going to watch. Okay, so we're going to watch Put a Ring on It. I'm going to eat this lovely breakfast that my mama has prepared. It's waffles, eggs, and bacon. Listen, she tried to throw some whipped cream and strawberries on my wall. No, ma'am, please. No, that's not. I don't, mm -mm. And then she talked about she gonna put syrup on it too. Girl, your stomach is going to, mm, no ma'am. Mm -mm. Nah, mm. I don't want those problems. So, we're gonna watch this show, we're gonna eat, and then I'm gonna do my face for the shenanigans, um, and the later reviews that I have to do today. But, let's jump into this episode and see what the fuck these stupid people are talking about, shall we? Let's. Okay, so nobody else sees the red flags with Otis. All this talk, I'm gonna have to change my shirt because I always did syrup. But nobody else sees the uh, the red flags. Nobody else sees the, the all the talk of being traditional and all this talk. Of, oh, she! I don't think she knows what she wants. One minute she wants to be the sweet, submissive girl, and then the next she wants to put her foot down. She's allowed to, two things. You can do both at this. You know, okay. I feel like, uh, listen, if I go into the explanation of how you be submissive and still have autonomy and agency to make your own decisions and choices, like, that's not, okay, alright. See, this be, this be my issue, so, Kenneth and Shorty are going on dates, um, Otis and Baby Girls, Charlene, Charlene, whatever her name is, going on dates. Bear and the dragon, they not going on dates. Cause she like, I don't know, uh, like I'ma give him problems. At least she was honest. She was like, I'ma give him problems every, every time he goes out on a date. <clears throat> gonna give gonna give him problems. <coughs> so so um uh Kenneth Thates come to the door, Shorty opens the door and it's her former intern when she worked at a radio station. And she was doing a morning show. And she had an intern. This little girl is the intern. And they haven't seen each other in years. They haven't worked together in years. Here's my thing. It's the attitudinal disrespect for me. When you come into someone's home. In this process. You come into their home and be like, may the best woman win. And we'll see if he comes back. And not a Bitch, do you know you won't even make it out this front door? Because you'll be dead fucking with me. Well, like, why would you do that? Why you feel so cold? I don't care that these cameras are here. Listen, I'll do something to you. Stop it. Be di don't be disrespectful. I don't like it. I don't, this that's another part. Of, I just I don't like it. I don't like it at all. It's stupid. <laughs> oh, I hate this show. It's so Kenneth, I Kenneth. Yeah, Kenneth and baby girl. Stage is going how it's going. It's great, I guess. I don't know. Mm, I don't know. And then we go to Otis and his date, this DJ Millhouse person. Her name is Millhouse. I can't listen. I don't know. Um, they have a lot of common. They went to the same high school, apparently. They grew up in the same um, part of Decatur. Listen, I just, my ADHD is not going to let. It's just not going. It's just not going to let me. This is not gonna let me be great with that today. Um, I'm gonna have to change my shirt. <sighs> um, yeah, she invites him to see her DJ. And he decides to decline. I really thought he was gonna go. I was like, wait a minute, that would would that be a second date? Is that outside of the process? How would that work? But now uh, i wholeheartedly understand um 
you not want your man being extra friendly or in a bunch of bitches faces and shit like that because that's how i am don't get you and her beat up okay but i feel like fooling around um with uh what's the baby girl's name whatever the girl's name is Rick Ross's manager's girlfriend, Shay Shalana, whatever. Her, she was like, I, I don't want him saying hi to bitches at the grocery store. That's that's how it's coming off. It's coming off a little too. Oh, he said, hey, oh, so you hugging the mother of the church now? You just out here just willy nilly. That's that's how it's coming across. And it's just me, just you doing too much, daughter. Just just a little too much. So, um. Charlie goes on the date with um we're gonna call him the politician. We're gonna um in terms of attractiveness, he's not particularly my cup of tea, but he's I guess a good looking guy. Um he has the right answers about submission and all that good stuff, which is, you know, kudos for him. Um but yeah, it seems like it's going well. They had a cooking class. Um Did anybody see that Otis wasn't very forthcoming with how his date went and he said that oh um uh, I would like to be able to tell her how the date went without it being a problem, but I can't mention nothing with any other woman without it being a problem. Did that seem odd? so Otis and Charlie and Kenneth and Shorty are dressed alike and we come to the end of the the meet and the come together and uh but uh Bear and the Dragon are not. So that's in sign up a message to me. And even Doctor Cole says, Okay, I see y'all matching, okay, okay. Um but they get to Otis and Charlie and it immediately goes left um he says that she feels scolded when he's not scolding her and she was like well in order for her to f- you say it that she, for her to feel scolded that means that you would have had to scold her before for her to feel like you were scolding her again in this moment right walked right into that one sir but they listen they gotta listen they got a lot to unpack. I don't think they should be in a relationship together. I don't think he should be in a relationship with anybody, honestly. Cause he, next week is when all oh, the super drama starts with people throwing plates and shit. And we gonna see what happens. Cause everybody's gonna be on dates in the same room at the same time. But this has been my review and recap of uh, Put a Ring on It. The disaster continues. Like, comment, and subscribe. Tell a friend to tell a kid, and I'll catch you uh, later for Bridgerton. Peace out.